What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and I appreciate you being here. Today I want to go over what we can expect from the Iron Banner tomorrow and all the changes you will experience. So dates, it comes Tuesday, January 30th, which is tomorrow, if you're watching this video today. And it will leave us on Tuesday, February 6th. And game mode is control. So with this Iron Banner, you'll be able to obtain ornaments for your already owned Iron Banner gear. That's if you have any of it. So the Iron Banner gear you would have grinded for within the last Iron Banner event. Now you'll be able to obtain ornaments for that gear. And here is how said ornaments are obtained. For all three helmets, the Iron Truage Cask, Helm and Hood, win 25 Iron Banner matches during Season 2 to earn these ornaments. Now I do believe, I can't, don't quote me on this, but I do believe if you unlock the ornaments on your Hunter, so to speak, I'm pretty sure you will unlock it on your Titan and Warlock too. Going off by how it's described, these ornaments are obtained here, I do feel that is the case. But yeah, the helmets you can see on the screen now look absolutely epic. For all three gauntlets, the Iron Truage Grips, Gauntlets and Gloves, you have to complete daily iron banner milestones during season two here you have to do five milestones i'm guessing these will be one per day so you will have to do this over the course of five days obviously uh, for all three chess pieces the iron true arch vest plate and vestments you have to get melee or grenade kills in iron banner season two here there is a percentage obviously going up to 100 i'm guessing it'll probably be between 20 and 40 kills who knows for all three leg armors, the Iron Truage boots, greaves and legs, you have to defeat opponents during Season 2 of the Iron Banner event. Again, a percentage bar. Said number of kills we do not know of yet. To get all three class items, the Mantle of Ephrodi, the Radagast Iron Stash and Timmer's Iron Bond, you have to claim five Iron Banner rewards during Season 2 of Iron Banner. I'm guessing this will be five engrams and you get these engrams by purchasing them with tokens you get for uh, playing Iron Banner itself. Now if you are missing items from last season, they can still drop as possible rewards from these engrams too. Also additional loot added to engrams, we have a Sparrow, a Ghost Shell and an emblem so there's quite a few things including the three new added weapons to play for also this time around saladin himself will be selling items for direct purchase using i believe shards and iron banner tokens this week he will be selling all armor pieces so if you've missed any or still need any armor pieces they will be here for you to acquire which is quite cool he will also be selling three weapon pieces per event so these will not rotate until the next iron banner event and three weapons are the hand cannon the scout rifle and the shotgun the hand cannon is called the criminal's dagger and perks it offers we have aggressive frame true sight hcs crossfire hcs and steady hand hcs it has armor piercing rounds drop mag and opening shot the scout rifle is called frostmere's hex Perks, it has Vice Rapid Fire, Full Auto, Corkscrew Rifling, Arrowhead Break, and Fluted Barrel. It has High Caliber Rounds, Extended Mag, and Dragonfly. The shotgun is called the Ganora's Axe. Perks, it has Precision Frame, it has Fluted Barrel, Rifled Barrel, and Barrel Shroud. It also has Accurage Rounds, Assault Mag, and Opening Shot. So three semi-decent weapons here to play for. For me though, it's, the, it's all about the Scout Rifle. That's definitely the most appealing weapon here for me. So yes guys, just a quick video on all you need to know about Iron Banner, which comes tomorrow. Don't forget we also get the January 30th update, which includes many other changes, including Masterworks Armor, Raid Armor, and Loot Changes, including the implementation of the Exotic Gold Shell into the Raid Boss Loot Pool, and much more, all of which I've covered in a video which I will link within the video description if you did miss it. It does go over all details of the January 30th update so do check it out. But yeah guys, should be a decent week ahead of us. Let's just hope the Iron Banner connections hold up. They normally ain't the greatest to be honest are they? But yes guys, that is it for another video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did leave a like, it really does help me out. Thanks as always for stopping by and hopefully people I will see you on that next one.